Hi, I'm Nick Moffitt with Verisurf Software. In today's video, I'll demonstrate the Absolute Master 3D Gauge equipped with the Master 3D Gauge Scanner. In a previous video, I showed you how to align, inspect, build, analyze, and reverse engineer using the Master 3D Gauge as a probing device. In this video, I'll show you how to inspect and reverse engineer parts using laser scan data. The Master 3D Gauge Scanner enables high-speed, non-contact 3D point capture at a great price-performance ratio for analysis and reverse engineering. The scanner accuracy is plus or minus 40 microns at 2 sigma. Line width at midfield is 80 millimeters, and a long standoff distance enables scanning in hard-to-reach cavities. The scanner measures 750 points per line at 60 hertz, for an effective scan rate of 45,000 points per second. Laser power adjustment is semi-automatic, and the laser scans even challenging surfaces like aluminum and carbon fiber. The integrated rangefinder changes color to let you know when the scanner is the correct distance from the part. Finally, the probe mount enables hot swapping between hard probe and scanner with automatic recognition without having to calibrate. We've seen an overview of the hardware. Next, we'll see how to inspect surface profile quickly and easily. The Scan Analyze Report workflow streamlines the inspection of complex surfaces and forms the core of Verisurf's industry-leading model-based inspection tools. To demonstrate, I'll scan a part and then analyze and report surface profile condition. I put spacers under the part and defined a boundary to exclude points beneath it. As I begin scanning, notice that only the part is captured and the tabletop is ignored. I'll continue scanning the part until I've captured all five sides. When I'm done scanning, I'll merge the individual clouds. We don't need millions of points to check surface profile on a 6-inch part, so I'll filter the data to a 30,000th separation. In order to analyze the point cloud to the model, we first need to align it. I'll choose Tools Global Register to do a quick rough alignment. If the model includes auto-align targets, we can perform an RPS alignment using the designated target locations. Instead, I'll reject the auto-align results and then choose Tools Register to Nominal to perform a best fit alignment using all the data. With the point cloud aligned, I can now run analysis to inspect surface profile. I'll then create a report, add a screenshot, and generate the report file. The PDF format I've chosen displays a summary of the analysis with a screenshot. Verisurf can further simplify the analysis process by automating the alignment, analysis, and reporting of scan data using the Do It tool. I'll demonstrate the process using the point cloud we just analyzed. I'll hide the analysis and then clear the transformation from the point cloud to return it to its measured orientation. If I select the Do It button using Shift-Click, Verisurf opens a dialog that allows me to configure the Do It process. I have it configured to align the data using global registration, this time followed by auto-align rather than best fit. Then, after analyzing the point cloud, Verisurf will fit the data to the screen and generate a quick report. I'll close the dialog and use the Do It button to show how the process can be run with a single click using the default settings. When the process is complete, Verisurf displays a quick report of the analysis. Because the device doesn't need to be aligned, the Do It process can be used with point clouds from virtually any source. For example, we can import data from CAD, or we can read it from an external file. Once the point cloud is loaded into Verisurf, we simply run Do It to align and analyze the data and report the results. We've just seen how the Master 3D Gauge Scanner simplifies the inspection of surface profile through the analysis of point clouds. Next, we'll see how it facilitates real-time inspection. The Master 3D Gauge Scanner simplifies real-time surface profile inspection by automating deviation analysis at predefined inspection points. 
The process begins with an inspection plan that defines target locations on the model. We can create this plan using Verisurf Automate or by reporting the results of a manual inspection. We then enable automatic measurement and averaging of scan points within each target's threshold zone. I'll hot swap the scanner for the probe and then align the master 3D gauge using auto align. When the alignment is complete, I'll hot swap the probe for the scanner. The repeatable mount allows me to switch between probes without having to recalibrate. I'll then open Auto Inspect and run the inspection plan. When I do, Verisurf highlights the targets in the first grid. To measure the targets, I simply sweep the laser across the part. Verisurf averages the values in each target zone and displays the deviation. I'll complete the inspection by measuring the targets as each grid is highlighted. Notice that the plan automatically displays the best view for each grid. After the last grid is measured, Verisurf displays a summary of each surface along with a screenshot. This automated procedure enables inspection of surface deviation at the same locations across any number of parts, regardless of operator. It simplifies comparison and helps to evaluate and maintain process control. We can perform this same type of inspection on existing point clouds, and we can leverage the capabilities of the DOIT function to help automate the process. I'll hide the analysis and clear the results in AutoInspect. I'll then import a scan of the part from a text file. If I open the DOIT dialog, we see that it's configured to align but not analyze the data. When I run DOIT, Verisurf aligns the imported point cloud to the model using AutoAlign. I can then highlight the cloud and choose Run Offline in Auto Inspect. Aside from the differences in measurements, the results are similar to what we saw in the previous example. We've now seen various examples of surface profile inspection. Next, we'll see how to reverse engineer parts using both probe and scan data. The scanner is a powerful addition to the Absolute Master 3D gauge for many reverse engineering workflows. Although it's possible to scan an object and extract features from the mesh, in most cases it's faster and more accurate to reverse engineer prismatic features using a probe. Likewise, it's possible to fit a complex surface to probe data, but it's more convenient and often faster and more accurate to measure surface contour with a scanner. The ease with which the Absolute Master 3D gauge switches between probing and scanning makes it simple to use the most appropriate method, even for different steps within the same workflow. I'll demonstrate this by combining both techniques to reverse engineer our demo part. To save time, I've already aligned to the part and measured the prismatic features using the probe. I've also exported the features to CAD and created solid bodies from the sphere and cone for use in later operations. We're now ready to measure the complex surface on the top of the part. I'll start by measuring the same features I used for the initial alignment. Since I'm measuring the table in lieu of the bottom of the part, I've used clay instead of tape to secure the part to the table. After running the alignment, I'll measure lines along the other two sides of the part, and I'll measure a spline along the front. We could scan this surface, but it's faster to extrude it, and it simplifies the workflow. Once the edges are measured, I'll export them to CAD and trim them together to create an outline of the part. We'll use this outline to extrude a solid. From the Solids menu, I'll choose Extrude. I'll then select the curves and extrude the solid to a height that extends beyond the top of the part. In order to trim the solid, we'll scan and then surface the top of the part. I'll hide our current work so we can focus on the surfacing. I'll then replace the probe with the scanner. I simply turn the lever to release the probe, then position the scanner and lock it in place. I'll start by scanning the top of the part at full resolution. We don't need much data for a surface patch, so I'll filter the cloud to a 50,000th spacing. I'll then delete the points on the front edge of the part, since it's more accurate to form this surface using a fillet. Finally, I'll use the Patch tool to create a surface through the cloud. 
I'll use the dialog settings to control both the accuracy and complexity of the surface, and I'll extend the surface slightly for use in trimming the solid. Once the surfacing is complete, we have everything we need to finish the model. With the rest of the model now visible, I'll trim the solid using the surface patch we just created. This gives us the basic shape of the part. We'll finish the model by filleting the edges and extruding the prismatic features. I'll choose the solids option, constant radius fillet, and then select the corners of the part. In the fillet dialog, I'll enter a radius of an eighth of an inch. I'll follow the same procedure to put a hundred thousandths radius fillet on the top front edge. On the bottom of the part, I'll use solid extrude to create the hole pattern, the slot, and the rounded triangle to a depth of three eighths of an inch. I'll then create a pocket around the boss to a depth of a quarter inch. Finally, I'll use the solid boolean command to form the spherical and conical features from the solid bodies that I created earlier. That completes the process. We now have a single body, solid model of the part. Solid modeling allows us to take advantage of Verisurf's model prep tools, which make it easy to incorporate design intent into the reverse engineering process. For example, if we know that the holes in the pattern should all have the same 3 8 inch diameter, the push-pull tool allows us to change them all at once. In addition, the move tool would allow us to reposition the pattern. The master 3D gauge scanner is ideal for reverse engineering freeform objects such as artwork or consumer products, where aesthetic considerations are most important. I'll demonstrate by creating a solid from a scan of this foam toy. I'll start by scanning the back of the dolphin. As I did before, I've set the bounding volume to ignore the tabletop. Next, I'll make additional scans of the bottom from two orientations. I could have mounted the toy so that all surfaces were visible from a single position, but that's not always an option. When I've finished scanning, I'll edit the point clouds to remove stray or isolated groups of points. I'll also filter the clouds to uniform spacing to simplify registration. The use of averaging here helps to reduce scanner noise. The point clouds were measured in different orientations, so they need to be aligned. I can get them close using register two point clouds, or simply by translating and rotating them using X-Form. I'll then register all three clouds to one another using a best fit. Once the clouds are aligned, I'll merge them into a single cloud and then use filtering to average the overlap. Next, I'll use the mesh tool to create a 3D mesh from the cloud. Using Mesh Edit, I can apply local or global smoothing, fill holes, or make other modifications as necessary. I'll then filter the mesh to enhance regions of high curvature. The mesh is complete, so I'll run Auto Surface and select Simple, Freeform Surfaces with Minimum Detail. When I choose Create, Verisurf automatically generates a model using multiple surface patches, each with a different color. Finally, I'll choose Solid Create from Surfaces to create a solid model of the dolphin. As a final check on the results, I'll use Verisurf Analysis to compare the original point cloud to the finished model. We've now seen how to use Verisurf with the Master 3D Gauge Scanner to reverse engineer parts using both probe and scan data. We've also seen how to use Verisurf Analysis to verify the accuracy of the model. You've just seen how the Verisurf Scan, Analyze, Report workflow helps automate the inspection of surface profile, and how Verisurf's real-time surface inspection tools provide immediate feedback on tolerance condition. You've also seen how to reverse engineer both prismatic and freeform parts using the Master 3D Gauge Scanner, and you've seen how to verify the results. For more information on how Verisurf can help expand your inspection and reverse engineering capabilities, please call us at 888-713-7201 or email us at sales at